Good morning guys. Welcome to my Tuesday. Um, I had a list of things that I was planning on doing originally today, but I kind of decided that it would be a good day for a self-care day. Um, so I mentioned in my spring cleaning video that I wasn't sure what my upload schedule was going to be like. I still honestly don't really know, but I figured I'd take you guys along for a bit of a self-care day. So my plan right now is it's almost 9.30. Um, I've gone to the gym, I've done my workout, which has been really good. I'm trying a new program and it's only a day two, but so far I like it. Um, so I've done, showered, um, the window's open. So if it's like windy in your ears, guys, I apologize. And yeah, uh, my hair is in a little bit of like a baby bun here cause it is really like, frizzy and froey and big like it needs to be washed it's uh, doing a little little craziness today so i thought i would just get dressed um put on my new shoes put on a cute outfit that i like and just go and kind of take myself out and do some of the stuff that i keep like wanting to do but every time i'm like yeah i should do that but then i think that would take a long time i could do it closer like um i just keep putting it off and pushing it off and i think sometimes you just kind of have to stop and be like no like you're going to give yourself that time. So that is what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to head over to Dustin. I want to go watch Captain Marvel again. So I've already seen it once. I want to see it again. So I'm going to do that. And then I kind of want to go wander Whole Foods. I'm honestly not doing anything very exciting. Um, but I feel like I'm in a good headspace today. And I feel like I want to try to film when I'm in those places because I feel like when I feel crazy and flustered and things like that, that emotion transfers from medium and I don't want that. Um, so Bear is talking as always and yeah, I am going to put on my jewelry because now that I've sat down I realize I haven't put like anything on other than my Apple Watch. Um, I'm going to put my shoes on and my jacket on because it's a little chilly out and then I'm going to grab a protein ball because... I need to eat something before I leave. Um, so to so break my fast at 10. And then, yeah, I definitely, I think I'm gonna do the dine-in theater, so I'm gonna like eat lunch there. Um, but gathering all the stuff, kind of getting ready, and then, yeah, we'll get going. And I'll show you guys my outfit once I put it on because I really like my shoes and I've been, this is one of my like three throw on jackets, I swear. Every Instagram photo, if I'm not careful, will have me in this jacket. It's a struggle. Okay guys, jewelry's on, outfit is on, there's a laptop charger on the floor, and yeah, this is, I think, from J. Crew. It's kind of, I know it's older, but I've tagged it a couple of times and like to know it, so I'll link everything that I can find down below. Um, these are J. Crew jeans from last year. My shoes are from DSW, and they are new. I got them in the... I guess it was on sale, but they had a coupon code recently, so I snagged them there. Um, my belt is from Target. <laughs> my shirt is from Target. Uh, necklace is Misoma, or Misoma, however you say it. And then my earrings are these little Sorelli-like diamondy bits that I got from Caroline Sore out of the box. Um, and then, as always, my Pandora ring and the ring that I stole from mom ages ago. Oh, and my Airmesh bracelets, which are also from out of the box so yeah i'm gonna wear it with my little baby bag over there actually i need to go to the post office i don't know if that's gonna happen today or not um that might be a tomorrow thing i keep putting it off but i just don't think i want to do that today um my straw bag broke so we're back to this little guy and then i think it my giant hydro flask maybe maybe my smaller hydro flask um the whole reason I got the smaller one is because the giant one doesn't fit in any of my cup holders. You can see it over there. Um, so the pink one is a lot smaller, but if it's my cup holders, the white one doesn't fit my cup holders. So I'm going to make an ice matcha and get a protein ball. And then we are going to go to Destin and watch a movie and go to Whole Foods and who knows. So we just went to check and see what the seats were like for the theater. Um, because I was thinking that it was in the dining theater, but it's not new, so it's move theaters, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to go watch Captain Marvel on the D-Box screen, but I just, it's an hour later and I don't want to. Um, I do, but it's an hour later. Um, and I forgot that the theater has like $5.25 tickets on Tuesdays. I don't know if that's just during the day, um, 
but it's super cheap and then I had a $5 Fandango reward so I just paid $2.50 or like $2.05 between the fees and stuff to see a movie like <laughs> such a well timed thing so I am going to look through my audible now um I haven't been in the car as much lately or when I have it's been in the gym like on the way to the gym in the morning and so I'm really like neglectful of listening to anything then so I've stocked up a couple of audible credits and I feel like I've bought a book or so but I don't know if there's anything that I'm like yeah I really want to listen to that or if I'm just gonna listen to other stuff sometimes I'll catch up on YouTube when I'm in the car for a really long time um I don't know but I thought I would kind of browse this and see but let me know in the comments below what you guys are reading and listening to um i bought girl stop apologizing and i just haven't finished reading it i need to kind of pull out some time to do that because there's supposed to be a review on the blog for that next week um and yeah i like i have a couple of books i'm in a really weird transition mood right now where i don't know what i want to watch or what i want to do read like i haven't found anything so just fine this is normally when i like find something i really love i started a book last night but I don't have the audio version of that. Um, so we're going to have to find a book or it might be a podcast or a YouTube day. I feel like I have like an overwhelming amount of options and that is like paralysis for me. Option paralysis. There's like a fancier name for it. I don't remember what it is, but that is what we're dealing with currently. So hopefully I can find something for my little car ride and then I can go watch Captain Marvel. But I'm super excited that it was only like $2.00. I needed to share that win and the self-care day that we're having. I have my ice matcha, we're gonna find something to listen to, and we're off to see a movie. So just got to Whole Foods. Um, the movie was good, obviously, I've already seen it. So it was around two for me. Um, but they didn't have the food that I wanted to get, so I ended up getting popcorn like halfway through the movie. Um, I don't tend to eat a lot of popcorn. Corn is actually something I'm like moderately sensitive to, at least in the popcorn form. Um, that just for whatever reason popcorn tends to be harder for some people to digest and for me too much of it will give me a headache so i don't normally get popcorn or if i do i get a small and i only eat the top layer or i get it with a friend and i pick it theirs um but i felt like i needed something more and everything on their menu food wise had gluten so i'm at whole foods now um i was actually gonna pop over to sonoma though and William Sonoma and grab they have like the pop plastic popcorn buckets um that are super cute and I'm doing a Fandango gift card giveaway I don't know if I've said that yet in this vlog or not um so I was thinking that would be fun for a photo but I noticed recently that they're building a Sonoma and Grand Boulevard and when I drove over here I like I thought about it on the way out and didn't stop um, I meant to check and see if it had opened because it was farther down than where I was so I didn't see um, but since I didn't check I didn't think about it and when I got over here this one's completely wiped out so I assume that they've moved um, I'm gonna check on the way back but for now I am gonna take either this in because um, they have the little things at the bathroom with the water fountain where you can refill them or I think I'm gonna take my like gross looking matcha cup in I kind of want a Zevia but I really want it on ice so I think I might take this in and like clean it out and then get stuff um and then I need to do like a once over on my grocery list so I don't miss anything here I don't think I need anything too crazy I definitely have to make a stop at Sam's on the way home so that mom doesn't have to go out today for that but it's a beautiful sunshiny day so so far my like little chill self-care day is going splendidly I'm enjoying it um I'm really enjoying the sunshine I'm not enjoying the traffic or the like crazy rerouting that Dustin has going on right now um I feel like they've been doing their expansion for forever but I'm loving the sunshine and hopefully I can get a Zevia that'll be another positive thing in the box for today back in the car like flash I thought I'd show you some of my miscellaneous treasures I'm loving this flavor um the lavender love one is my fave some of these guys, they are some of my favorite sweets right now. Um, kind of got them for the picture, kind of got them because I like them. A little bit of my favorite cookies. I, oh I forgot, well, I kind of forgot I got these. Um, the chocolate chunks. And then I also got some sprouted quinoa and some sprouted lentils, some milk, and a few other bits. And Bob is actually looking for the chocolate bar that I got, but I guess I'll have a few of these instead. So that was a 
swift very swift always way more than i thought it was gonna be trip into whole foods but i got a few of the items that i needed which is handy and hopefully i'll figure out where my chocolate bar went um the little counter area where they like sell coffee and such wasn't open so i couldn't grab ice but at least i was able to clean my little cup out and i may put this in there to drink just because i like it a little bit more decanted because then it's less busy but gts kombucha is by far my favorite and then these guys are like hit or miss it really just depends on how you feel about like a chocolate sour mix going on but i like them so they're not quite open yet but they look really pretty hopefully very soon i'll be able to go to snow again everything's kind of moving around in here guys so if you come to grand boulevard and you can't find something I hope they update the maps because stores are kind of hopping around since things have left in here, like J. Crew. But I'm very excited to go to the new Sonoma when it opens. It looks very pretty. There's also a new restaurant across from, well, it's not that new, it's been there for a hot minute, um, across from the movie theater. It's the one we tried to go to um, before the movie for Elena's birthday, but we weren't able to go. So. Hopefully that'll be something to do soon. I kind of thought about going earlier and I didn't, but for now, I think I'm gonna head back because I need to go run one more errand. But look at how pretty it is out. Such a beautiful day. I was trying to find a spot to vlog that's not so gosh darn bright, but it's just all bright. Sorry guys. Um, I made it home. Which is good news, and I'll show you what I got. But I also think I lost my credit card. So, mom is coming up to help me look for that. And hopefully we can... So, a little self-care update, because I feel like I just told you very quickly about the credit card, and then I, like, ran off. Um, I used it to pay for gas, and, like, as I was checking out, I noticed there was a slot. Hi, there. And now I'm not sure what it is. But luckily, Wells Fargo went through that phase where they did the, like, two billion commercials to tell you you can go in the app and switch it off. So I did that. Hey. Hey. Hi, no thank you, nope. So now I'm gonna make dinner and it's pretty much a leftover. And then I think I'm gonna figure out how to get a new card online. As you can see, I've got my purse out for like the third time because I was really trying to find it, like trying and I did it. So I don't wanna like lose stuff. That's like not my thing. Like I've kept the same retainers for years, knock on something, but that cannot be said with this card. So we have reached the end of the day in my self-care day. And I thought I would do a face mask because it's a self-care day. And I also just kind of want to get myself a little organized. So I'm going to take off all my jewelry um, and put it in oh, my little container that hangs out over here. Um, I have a couple of masks that kind of live in my drawer. I will say... Like, I feel like most people, if you own more than one mask, you kind of reach for different ones for different things. My go-to tonight, because I have a couple of spots that are healing up or kind of hanging out. Some of them are from, leftover from some stuff that I ate the other day. Some of them are just little bits that are signs that I haven't eaten things that everything that my body really agrees with. Also my period's coming. So you know the fun times. And my shirt is really fuzzy because I was hugging Asher. <laughs> um so I have a couple of different like masks that float around and I will say that there are some nights that I just use one there are some nights that I will use two and I think this might be a two mask kind of night. So I am going to bust out my Maid Lindstrom problem solver. If I have like bigger spots, this is like my go-to, what I reach for. Um, I have this little duo that I got on Amazon that 100% came from China and took an eternity to get here. Um, I use the smallest little like teaspoon tablespoon. I don't know what the actual measurement is on that. And I do one part of that in here and then one part water and then I stir it together with a little brushy bit. I can't drop it because Asher will steal it. Um, and I put leave that on my face. I mentioned in, oh no wait, this po the post will probably be up by the time this um, goes live. I mentioned in like the five products that actually help my acne post. Um, 
that this is one of those masks that if you were like i don't have time for a long mask i just am not interested in that it does not suit my schedule you could leave this for shorter i definitely do the like i think it's recommended at like 45 minutes so that's normally what i do it's what i'm gonna do tonight because i've kind of set out the time for it and then after that i'll pop on the josh rosbeck advanced hydration mask for like 20 minutes um and that's just something i can do while i'm getting ready i also wanted to take some time to clean some of my brushes i've been really neglectful of that i do love and i have the um this little brush cleaning set that i got on amazon i think you guys would have seen it sometime over vlogmas um and the thing that i really love about this is that it's super great if you just want to clean a one-off brush sorry guys i'm missing there it is um it's great if you want to clean a one-off brush so i have that bad habit of being like oh man i really need to clean that brush and then i don't do it and um, particularly with my foundation brush so i can like actually clean it and then because it spins it it'll dry it so if you need like a brush clean then and there or very quickly this is great it's not expensive um and i feel like it does a really good job so i'm gonna go in and take off all my makeup with my trusty pacifica coconut dissolve it's just a cleansing oil it takes me quite a while to use up a bottle of this mostly because the only time i ever use it is to remove my makeup and then i'm gonna go in after that and cleanse with my odyssey mint black mint cleanser um i ran out of my tata harper clarifying cleanser this week so this is what i bought is hopefully a dupe i think it's like 20 six dollars cheaper um so we'll see hopefully i love it as much i don't think i'm gonna quite love it as much but it's still a nice like performance soup one of the things i really think i love the most about the clarifying cleanser is it has that peppermint essential oil in it or something in that peppermint range that just gives a like actual cooling calming effect to the skin and i just really enjoy that i still have my osea ocean cleanser to be quite frank, I'm still not a fan of it. I just try to get it down. Um, but while I, while my skin was being really fussy, it's not being overwhelming fussy right now, surprisingly. Um, I was keeping my routine very simple. So, yeah. My makeup has actually held incredibly well. I will say that, like, contour bronzer, all of that has, like, stayed strong for the day. My brows are good. Um, my eye makeup may not be as dark but i feel like one of the things when you're switching to clean beauty and you're looking at like making that more a part of your life it can be really hard because you don't want products that aren't going to perform and a lot of times i definitely for me when i was switching over one of the biggest things was i was switching because i had hormonal acne but i and i still do to some degree it's better some days than others but i feel like when you have acne, you still want to be able to cover it. So you need a product that can really perform while it's also nourishing your skin and helping you get towards a place where you don't need such strong products. Does that make sense? Um, so my Crunchy Foundation and my Fit Glow Concealer are my two tried and trues. I just really like the Crunchy Foundation. Um, but that's like my good solid coverage days. I always feel like my makeup looks really good those days. I definitely want to find a more tinted ish moisturizer kind of thing but i definitely think that's going to take me some time and i also think that for me i have to really be happy with where my skin is at to be able to use that so we're babbling a lot here but i'm going to cleanse my makeup and i'll show you guys the mixing of the masks and then the washing of the brushes and i'm also going to turn on I don't know which one I'm on. I've been watching a lot of these like Avengers behind the scenes <laughs> videos because I just really want to know what's going to happen. So I've been watching everybody's like opinions on them. So we'll see what YouTube suggests for me to watch today. So big fan of makeup wipes or cyber matte lips because otherwise I feel like this is on my washcloths forever.
Okay, my face feels a lot better now. Um, so even though my hair has been in this pony all day, I'm going to do this little guy because the one thing about this mask is that it loves to cling in the spaces around here. So I like to use it carefully. Um, either that or like one of the directions mentions using it like if you're gonna get in the shower with it. Um, I tend to try to use it like either that way or in a day where I'm close to yeah, I'm washing my hair again. Um, so this is the 25 on my little scoops and I just have it in the bottom of this cup. And then I will do, literally it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And stir it for a minute, you might think, because when it first goes in the cup that it's like super separated. Um, but it blends out very quickly. I will say it does sting a little bit um, within the first 15 minutes because there's like a cayenne pepper in this, but it calms down and it ends up being fine. The actual, like if you read, um, none of the mail Instrument products have like instructions on the back of them. So you get like a pamphlet in your stuff. Um, if you read the pamphlet, it actually tells you to use what would be like a larger version of this. But I've kind of worked out that this ends up being the exact amount that like I use and don't feel like I have a bunch left over. Cause otherwise what ends up happening is I have a lot and then it's like down to my chest. And that's fine if I'm going to shower, but it doesn't really work as well on nights like tonight where I just want to do my little mask. Um, also, pro tip is to use a dark washcloth because this stuff will stay. And there we go. Now we set a timer and I'll check back in. Okay, so before my face dries too much and I can't actually talk to do this, I thought I would show you the results of using this guy because it's just so amazing. I love it. Um, so first things first, finding a little end that cl matches up as closely as possible because um, you need it to be as snug as you can get it. And there are a couple of options, but sometimes... You just gotta squeeze it on. Um, all right, so that's in. Then this little guy goes in. The pointy end needs to go into your brush doodad, this guy, um, into your spinner. And it'll kind of click in place. And this is what this contraption looks like. So I will do a couple of washes just cause I don't feel like switching this out. Um, but quick little rinse. And I will put, depending on the brush, I try not to put a ton of water in there um, just because it will like foam up. And then I put a little bit of my Dr. Bronner soap in there. This is pretty much what I use this primarily for. It gets everything clean and I feel like it doesn't, um, like I don't, it doesn't break me out or do anything. So first things I do is I kind of go in and just push it around because you want to get the soapy water kind of in there to start breaking it down. Um, now, depending on what kind of product you're using, like the formulation on it, this will work better with some than others. But it looks like it's kind of already started. So now I'm going to kind of push and just let it foam on up. I might need a little more water, but we'll see. Sometimes you have to do this more than once. This is my foundation brush. It gets washed the most, but it still will need a little bit of love. So I'm gonna do it again, but you can kind of see that like the first round has been good, but because I use this so much, I'm definitely gonna do like a double batch on that one. Just to be extra sure that I'm getting clean. Um, now my other brushes were a lot quicker and I actually prefer to do the soap first. Um, my other brushes were quicker, but this one, cause I know that the foundation will like get in this really well, like within the grooves. I want to make sure that I get it all out. So 
I show you guys this and then my camera battery is probably going to die on us. So if we die, just know I'll come back and show you. So the one thing you don't want to happen though is for it to be so full and soapy with water that when you go to pull it up at the top to like let it dry off, that it won't dry. So, you can see a second round is really what it needed. And now my foundation brush is all kinds of clean, which is lovely. Um, and I always try to like suss out in the center, um, which is sometimes what makes it take more than once um, to make sure that like it's come out. And then I just pop this all off. And this is actually good to go. If I needed to use my brush right now, I could. Um, whew, guys, I'm feeling an arm workout from this morning. But since I don't, hi, can you not take my washcloth? Thank you. Um, I don't need to use it, but it is pretty much good to go and it's clean. So I'm gonna finish these and then I'm gonna actually sort through my brushes and see, I have far too many in my little container and I really don't use them all, so. I'll be back. Okay, so I've gotten almost all of them cleaned. I definitely decluttered this. I have like two or three more to add back in and I pulled quite a few out of this side. Um, pretty much because I only really use the same brushes all the time. So I gave myself a couple of backups, especially in the eyeshadow one because it just depends on the day. But these are all nice and clean and ready to go for tomorrow. use the little brush cleaner to do is like dual end of brushes so any of like my eyebrow brushes those I'm gonna have to do by hand but other than that all of these guys are clean and can go back in and I've kind of I've left I pulled a few out um that I haven't cleaned yet but I will clean and then put them away in case I decide that I do want to use them or need them um but for now, I just feel like I kept knocking brushes over and was like having to deal with brushes and like things were falling behind stuff, but I wasn't using all the brushes. So they were just kind of hanging out in my way. So a lot of these like eye brushes that I don't ever touch and some of these other just basic base brushes, um, powder or foundation things that I just don't really often reach for. Um, I'm kind of setting to the side to clean tomorrow and then hopefully from there I can just kind of store those away but yeah I'm gonna clean these guys by hand and then I might just do um the advanced or sorry the vital bomb from Josh Rosebrook tonight instead of the hydration mask because I'm just kind of at that point so once I clean these uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this off because I'm starting to get a little itchy okay. mask is off pajamas are on <laughs> And I'm gonna pop some eye cream on like I normally would. Um, I don't tend to put any serums or anything else on over this face mask just because it's already so strong. Um, I just tend to stick with hydration. So eye cream, I'm using the Fit Glow Eye C Serum because I still have that. Um, I'm not really, like I don't always use a lot of eye cream, but I have that one so I'm using it and then I don't have much left in this guy but it's kind of like my go-to night cream um and the jars glass and it's flung off my little guy a couple of times now so we are broken um and then I'm just gonna coat my face in it and what will end up happening is that everything that's kind of hanging out on my skin will either shrink or kind of come up to the surface so I can get rid of it in the morning. Um, but I love that mask. I honestly feel like you kind of have to figure out how it works best for you. And it took me a while to personally do that. But yeah, that is kind of where I'm gonna end this vlog once I can find lighting. Um, so yeah, that is kind of all I have for today. I know it's probably been a random one, but I figured I'd take you along for my day of self care. So. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna hop in bed. I'm gonna put my phone on the charger over there because I have a no phone in bed rule um, that started several months ago and honestly is wonderful. 
Um, keeps me from looking at my phone first thing in the morning. It keeps me from scrolling on it at night. Um, if I want to check any text or anything, I have my laptop half the time um, watching a movie. And then I have my Do Not Disturb set for 9 p.m. So anything after that, just it gives me a good like unwind time. So yeah, I'm going to ask my Googling friend over there to play my Night Rain playlist and pop on my sleep mask and I will probably be asleep within the next hour. Oh, and I'm going to pull out my gym kit for tomorrow. Um, I've tried to get in the habit of pulling out my top, my sports bra, my pants, and then I'll kind of pick the shoes, but I always feel better when I'm like matching in an outfit that I actually like, like, just feel like that's just one small thing that I enjoy or it makes, um, you know, gives me that extra bit of confidence walking into the gym. And I surely know that 5.30 and 6 in the morning, I cannot see. Um, I have no idea what colors I'm matching. So I just like to pull that out and then I might swap out the shoes in the morning. But yeah, that is all I have for today. So uh, products I've mentioned, things like this headband, all of that I will link in the description box below. And yeah, I don't know when I'll be back again. Like I said, these videos are gonna be kind of as and when I see fit um, or I feel like I'm in a headspace that is like good juju to be sharing but for now yeah that's that's what I got so I love you guys you matter to me thank you for hanging out with me today and I will see you all in my next video or on Instagram come hang out with me over there I talk a lot there too <laughs>